Imagine standing on the edge of a lake so big that you can't see the other side. The waves crash like an ocean, and the wind whips across the water. You might think you're at the sea, but you're actually looking at one of the Great Lakes. These lakes are so huge that they hold about one-fifth of all the fresh water on Earth. That means if you took all the fresh water in the world, put it in buckets, and lined them up, every fifth bucket would come from these lakes. Brought to you by Super Simple Sheets. From coast to coast, worksheets that work. Discover the full range of what we offer at supersimplesheets.com. What are the Great Lakes? The Great Lakes are a group of five massive lakes located between Canada and the United States. Their names are Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, Lake Erie, and Lake Ontario. Together, they form the largest group of freshwater lakes in the world. Lake Superior is the biggest and deepest, holding more water than the other four combined. Lake Michigan is the only one entirely in the United States, while the others form part of the border between the two countries. Lake Huron has the longest shoreline, and it's home to Manitoulin Island, the largest freshwater island in the world. Lake Erie is the shallowest, which means it warms up quickly in the summer, but also freezes faster in winter. Finally, Lake Ontario is the smallest by surface area, but it still holds enough water to cover an entire country in a deep layer of water. How were the Great Lakes formed? The Great Lakes didn't always exist. More than 10,000 years ago, during the last ice age, giant glaciers covered most of North America. These glaciers were kilometers thick, and as they moved, they scraped and carved out the land beneath them. When the glaciers began to melt, the massive holes they left behind filled with water, creating the Great Lakes. Even today, the lakes are still changing. The land around them is slowly rising because the weight of the glaciers is gone. This process, called post-glacial rebound, means the shorelines of the lakes have shifted over time. The Great Lakes and their importance. The Great Lakes are more than just big pools of water. They are a lifeline for millions of people, plants, and animals. About 40 million people live around the lakes, using them for drinking water, fishing, transportation, and recreation. The lakes are also home to over 3,000 species of plants and animals, including fish like lake trout, walleye, and perch. Birds like bald eagles and great blue herons rely on the lakes for food and nesting sites. The lakes also connect to the Atlantic Ocean through the St. Lawrence River, making them a key part of Canada's economy. Ships travel through the Great Lakes every day, carrying goods like wheat, iron ore, and cars to different parts of the world. Without the lakes, many cities, including Toronto and Chicago, wouldn't have grown as large as they are today. Environmental Challenges and Conservation For all their beauty and importance, the Great Lakes face serious challenges. Pollution is one of the biggest problems. Over the years, factories, farms, and cities have released harmful chemicals and waste into the water. In the past, this pollution was so bad that Lake Erie was declared dead because of the lack of oxygen and massive algae blooms. Luckily, people took action, and today, the lake is much healthier, though pollution is still a concern. Invasive species are another threat. Creatures like the zebra mussel and sea lamprey were accidentally introduced into the lakes and have caused damage to native fish populations. Climate change is also affecting the lakes causing water levels to rise and fall unpredictably, leading to shoreline erosion and stronger storms. To protect the Great Lakes, Canada and the United States have signed agreements to reduce pollution, manage invasive species, and keep the water clean for future generations. Many organizations work to clean up beaches, plant trees, and educate people about protecting this natural wonder. Why the Great Lakes matter? The Great Lakes are not just big lakes, they are a crucial part of North America's history, economy, and environment. They provide drinking water for millions of people, support a vast ecosystem, and help power industries and transportation. Whether people are fishing, swimming, or sailing on these lakes, they are experiencing one of the most incredible freshwater systems in the world. The next time you see a lake, take a moment to imagine the Great Lakes, nature's giant, ever-changing and life-giving waters. Thanks for watching. Simplify your teaching journey with super simple sheets. Across Canada, we're known for our ready-to-use, curriculum-aligned worksheets. Dive into our educational solutions at supersimplesheets.com. Super Simple Sheets. From coast to coast, worksheets that work.